I just had a cup of coffee at the coffee house. Boy, was that good coffee. <laughs> I normally wouldn't say anything bad about anybody. Why would I bother? There's no point in it. But the person who made this page asked me what I thought about it, so having looked it over, and having looked at it, it's just the same picture over and over again, and so forth, I guess I have to give it a review, which is what I'm going to do. I hope the maker won't be angry with me, but here is my review of this page. <laughs> Gotta be honest. Well, I just wanted to introduce you to uh, a new friend that came to the house. I'm not sure who gave it to us. It's just a dog that for some reason nobody wants it. It has been reasonably well taken care of, needs its fingernails cut. It, uh, it's house trained, it's very lovable. Uh, it certainly likes to be paid attention to. So I just want to introduce you to the newest member of the Maibaum family here in the Dominican Republic that obviously wants to be given lots of love. Okay? I call it call her Chi Chi Chi. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Junebug. Happy birthday to you. Love you, Junebug. I can remember many, many years ago, before the year 2000, when someone gave me some of these in mocha. And they showed me how to eat them, and I said, oh, I would never eat them. But I soon learned that these are probably some of the most delicious fruit you can eat. I almost wanted to sneak some into the United States. They're called lemon seeds. I'm going to show you what they are. You take one of these little balls off. Let's take one off here. A nice big one like this here. Up oh, here, here you have this little ball. Okay. And it's a nice little ball. Bite it so you crack open the skin. Then you open the skin. And inside is a slime-covered pit, a big pit, slime-covered. Whoa. You suck it out. Mmm. And you suck all the slime off the pit. It's a lemon-flavored, absolutely delicious. I don't know whether you can get these in the United States. The end result is a just a pit. Whoops. Hard to do this. It's a pit. So, if you ever find these lemon seeds in the United States in the grocery store in the exotic section, buy them. You're really going to like them. Oh, Ashley, oh, Ashley, pop a little Ashley, 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 pop a little girl, pop a little, pop a little Ashley, pop a little, pop a little girl. Papa little Leslie, your papa little Leslie, papa little papa little papa little girl, your papa's precioso. Mm. Okay, okay, here, here's my mom.
Hi, Donna Keegan, how are you today? Hi, Donna Keegan, it's going to soon be May. You'll be putting all your stuff out and doing it again. Hi, Donna Keegan, I hope to sit 2016 will be a win. Happy New Year, Donna. And to be politically incorrect, Merry Christmas. Horses in the morning and horses every night. My husband doesn't like my horse, so we often fight. What he doesn't seem to understand, a horse is really neat. A horse is really faster because he has four quick feet. A car gets snarled in traffic. A bus cannot get through. A horse goes almost anywhere, and with ease he'll carry you. So when you need to go somewhere or you just need to run the course, don't jump into your Corvette. Just jump onto your horse. A Corvette has lots of power. It uses costly gas. But a horse, a horse, does not need much. It goes all day on grass. Hello, everybody. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day today. God bless. No. <laughs> Ashley, Ashley, Pop is good girl. Pop is good girl. Pop is good girl. Ashley, Ashley, Pop is good girl. Pop, 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 pop is good girl. Ashley, Ashley, Pop is good girl. Pop is good girl. Pop is good girl. Ashley, Ashley, Pop is good girl. Pop is good girl. Are you Papa's good girl? Yes, you are. You're my princess. Okay, I guess it's my age. I guess it's my generation. I don't know. But I see something a lot, and I, I have no idea what it means. I'm serious. There may be someone out there that thinks, ah, he knows it. No, I have no idea what this means or why people do it. So I'm asking everybody out there on Facebook, what does this mean when people do this? So I see this video of this nice lady, and she's riding in a car, and in the video she's singing, and she does this, you know? Two fingers. What's this? Two fingers. Another guy's, you know, that's this, you know. What does this mean? What does this mean? I'm sure it means something. So enlighten me, please. I would really like to know. Have a great day. Well, it's morning time, and I thought that I would give everybody an ab lib song from me to you to get your day going. So. If you're ready, here we go. I'm so happy, I'm so happy in every way. I'm so happy, I'm so happy in every way. I'm so happy it's not June, I am happy as May, because I am so happy in every way. Be sure to put a smile upon your face. Fill your life with lots of grace. Do not be sad, that wouldn't be good. You should be happy, I know you should, so be happy, be happy in every way. I want you to be happy. Please be happy today. Have a great day in Jesus. Bye-bye. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Donna. 
Happy birthday to you. I'm getting younger by the hour. Eating cauliflower. Eating matri cauliflower. If I go to the grocery store and pay the bigger dollar. Get younger by the hour. Eating matri cauliflower. And Donna, you sure need to get younger by the hour. That's why I'm recommending matri cauliflower. So that you get younger and younger and younger every day. Just like me. Happy birthday, Donna. Yeah. Wouldn't I love to have a great chicken bone right now? I'm feeling wonderful today, don't you see? Because Jesus is standing here with me. I'm feeling wonderful today, don't you know? Because Jesus is with me where I go. God bless. We'll be with you. Boy, that sure is a stupid looking cat. <laughs> Well, I thought I'd ad lib a little song for you, for your comments. So, hey, I know I'm in wonderful hands. I know nothing will go wrong. I know that I'll be back another day to sing Martha a real pretty song. It's just a little bitty time in the hospital, don't you know? Everything is going to be fine, I, I know, because I've, because I've got Jesus, he'll be in the room with me, that's why I'm going to return, don't you see, so thanks for your prayers, Martha, and I know you'll be there with me. I know that when it's all over, I'll be back on Facebook for you to see. There. Ad lib from Jack. From me to you. Everything's cool. See you later. Bye bye. Order. Cumpleaños feliz. Cumpleaños feliz. Cumpleaños Patricia. I did one of these videos last year, and I just wanted to do it again because I love these so much. These are lemon celias, and they they grow on trees here. Let's see if I can get this. One. They're really great, and inside of these lemon celias are. Uh, let me just put this lemonade over here. Are these here's one I picked off the vine right here. Now what you do, there Francis is coming to grab one, to take and you bite it. Break the skin, it pops, it's open. Then you take and you open this thing up like this, and inside is this slime covered pit. And you put the pit in your mouth. Mm. And then you scrape the slime off the pit. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Lemon Celia. A real favorite in this country. You won't see them in the States, I don't think. But they're really great. If you ever come to the Dominican Republic, you have to eat some of these lemon seas. Mm. Then you spit the pit out. Throw it away. Okay, here I am. I'm an older person. I've gone back to college at Harvard University, for example, who just issued some rules, and I'm going to do a number of these little videos to show my problem as an older person in Harvard University. Here I go. Oh my! Oh my! Somebody's trying to break into my room and rob me. I need to call, call for help quickly. Hello, operator? Operator? Oh, operator? Operator? Please? Yes. I'm in room 2261 in the dorm, and I need a policeman here quickly. There's someone trying to break into my room. What? You say what? Let me put you on the speaker. Hello, sir. 
You can't say that. You can't say you need a policeman. That's against the rules. That's offensive. That's hurtful to say policeman. Well, well, I then send me a policewoman. I'm sorry, sir. That's sexist. That's racist. You can't say that. You can't call for a policewoman. Well, I need help quick. Get me somebody. You've got to say, send a security person, but I need a policeman. Oh, sir, I'm sorry. I'm going to hang up on you now because you're being offensive. You cannot say policeman or policewoman here. This is offensive. Goodbye, sir. My God, can you imagine that? All I wanted was a policeman. Well, I guess I don't fit into the Harvard community. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Mark, happy birthday to you, from the perfect man at WOZI FM 107 point something or other in Presque Isle, Maine. Have a great day. Thank you everybody for your prayers and thoughts while I was in the hospital. I really appreciate it. I'm back home now after an interesting visit, which I will describe to you more about hospitals in third world countries. And uh, everything is fine. I'm glad to be home. I had Patrice, uh, Francisca and Rebecca with me at all times and at night. So I had lots of help here. You have to have help with you uh, in the hospital. So all is fine. Thank you. Keep in touch. This is my little buddy who just always wants to be right here with me all the time. Gets up and sits in my lap and just cuddles all the time. I don't know. I, I, when I was younger, I didn't like these little chihuahuas. They were too noisy. But this one's not noisy. And it just loves to be with me all the time. It's just it's such a just a lovely little dog. It's just a great little friend. When I go for a walk, it always goes with me. Right, Chi Chi? <laughs> Hennessy just came here and gave me something mm. special in my office, and I thought I have to share with this with everybody. Hennessy just came in and gave Poppy these pretty flowers. I don't know what kind of flowers they are, but they grow all over the place. Pretty flowers here. And I just think it's really special that my princess gave me these flowers. Okay? Give me basil. Bye-bye. Mm. Hola. You said we're going to come to San Francisco? Hola. <laughs> está bien, nosotros está bien. Adiós. Hello, Rana Mace and Maria <laughs> from Francisca. Right now, we're, we're nosotros hablamos, hacer uh, ese video ahora mismo. <laughs> bye bye. I can only remember one song a radio station ever wrote for me. Usually I did all the writing, as you know, but this was one of the best ads, and I'll never, ever forget it. For this 35 or more years that since we've left the farm, I still sing this song. So if this was the song, and you wrote it, Mark, or your folks wrote it, this is a tribute to you. Okay. I'm getting younger by the hour, eating cauliflower, eating matri cauliflower. Why go to the grocery store and pay the bigger dollar? Get younger by the hour, eating matri flower, cauliflower. And then you went on with a little dissertation about the farm and the cauliflower. Great ad. Que sera, sera. Whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Que sera, sera. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I consider it a privilege to be an American. I don't live in the United States, but it's a privilege to be American. I believe in my country, I believe in my flag, and I believe that it's one of the best places to have been born. 
That's what I have to say to the people of the United States who don't accept my, my flag and my country. God bless America. My words of wisdom for the wise, my words of wisdom are not lies. For when you're feeling down and weary, Jack's words of wisdom will make you cheery. God bless. You hope I'm doing well? Well, here's how well I'm doing, Jeff. I'm doing wonderful today, don't you know? Because Jesus is with me where I go. I'm feeling wonderful today, don't you see? Because Jesus is standing here with me. Oh, God bless and have a great night. This is for you, Yenley. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Feliz cumpleaños, Elias. Happy birthday to you. I always hated these little bitty dogs uh, years ago uh, because they were too noisy and yapped all the time. And Now look at me. I've got one of these things. In fact, she has a puppy, a little black one. She's not yappy and she sits with me all the time. I'm sitting at the computer and she's sitting here in my lap just as content as could be. Oh, well, I guess we all get older and change our opinions on things. I'm proud to be a deplorable, I love the red, white, and blue. I'm proud to be a deplorable, a deplorable just like you. Good night, deplorables. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, Jeff. I hope you have a wonderful day. Even though in the Dominican Republic the skies are rainy and gray. But where you are, I hope it's wonderful and you have a wonderful day. Happy birthday, Jeff. I hope to see you soon, someday. So enjoy your day. You're getting old, 72, I'm told. But don't feel sad and don't feel bad for a wonderful day to you. Happy birthday, Jeff. I hope you have a great day. And remember, you have a lot of years left. I know. Cumpleaños <laughs> feliz. Cumpleaños feliz. Cumpleaños, Kevin. Cumpleaños feliz. Thank you for your note. And uh, uh, Tennessee, my daughter and I, one of my many kids, just want to say hello. And Tennessee doesn't speak Spanish, uh, English, so she has no idea what I'm saying. So anyway, God bless, and we'll see you later. Say bye. Say bye bye, Tennessee. Say adio. And this is my wife, Francisca. Uh, she's uh, with me, takes good care of me all the time. She's Dominican, and she's very special to me. Without her, I couldn't do it. Say hello. She, uh, she doesn't speak English either. Say so hello. Hola. Hola. Hello, my friends. <clears throat> Many of you know me. In fact, anybody probably watching me right now knows who I am. Just a normal guy living in a third world country, uh, helping people. But lately, I'm sure, well, I know, I've been labeled a racist. I've been labeled a racist because I was born white. And whether I believed I was a racist or not, I am a racist. And I'd better get over it because I'm a racist. And, and many of you, uh, like me, uh, have uh, people in your families who are uh, black-skinned, brown-skinned. I certainly do. My wife, stepchildren, grandchildren, all, all are uh, 
brown-skinned and dark-skinned people. But And I'm a racist because some of the comments I make on YouTube or on, on Facebook. And let me explain my, myself a little more thoroughly for those of you who may be a little upset. When I talk about black people, and I wouldn't have talked about black people a number of years ago, but now that I'm a racist and nothing I say changes that, I might just as well be a racist. Uh, when I talk about black people, I'm not talking about the, your friends or the average guy or family might have. I'm talking about those people that uh, in the inner cities who are looting, rioting, shooting cops in the head, beating people up, uh, Black Lives Matter people, people who are going nuts, and I'll include in that black people, the white people who are going nuts as well, along with the black life people, and they're trying to prove that I'm a racist. So for all of you that might have family that, has, that are African American, don't be insulted by my comment. But I do want to address this business of being racist. I don't know how old you all are, but I was one of the people in the 60s down south in the movement for integration. How many of you people were even alive then? How many of you people are down there doing that? Probably none of you. And some of you are calling me racist. You have no idea what it was like, and you don't have any idea what people like me went through to help with integration, uh, some of the dangers we went through, uh, the whole movement. So why do I get upset when people are talking about me being my comments about black people? I'm upset because I don't like you calling me racist. I don't like people telling me whether I like it or not, I am racist because I was born privileged white. My friends, my privileged white, uh, white was born in Poughkeepsie, New York, lived in North Clove, New York. I went to a one-room schoolhouse with 12 kid grades in one schoolhouse with no running water, with no electricity, with a pot-bellied wood stove in the back for heat. Okay, and I walk there every day. Oh, yeah, I'm privileged white racist. So I want to really be honest with you about this. If you've been upset about my comments or any comments I make in the future, when I talk about the black people, I'm not talking about all the African-American people. I'm talking about what I call the black people. It's those Ferguson people, the hands up, don't shoot people, the Black Lives Matter people. The people that are looting, the people that are murdering, these are black people. They aren't Americans. I don't even consider an African American an African American. They're Americans. Not African American. They're Americans. And those that insist on being African American are the black people. I'm English, Irish, German, and French, but I don't call myself, I'm an English, Irish, German, and French American. I'm an American. I was born American. So I apologize to anybody who might be upset by my talking about the black people. But I want you to understand what I mean by that when I say the black people. I don't mean everyone. I mean those people, the black people, that are now trying to reestablish segregation in America. They are trying to go back and reestablish segregation in their safe spaces. The black people who are, in fact, the racists, we won't let, I'm not going to college and sleep with any white person in my dorm. My friends, I've slept night in the same bed with black colored skinned people as a youth and as a young man, friends of mine. I don't see it as color. But you're going to insist. Some people are saying, oh, yes, you do see this color. You're racist. You're white. And therefore, you were born racist. You are racist. And you can't deny it. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. But my comments and my 
comments that seem racist are racist because you have outright convinced me that I've got to be racist. And if you tell me enough times that I'm a thief, I might just as well steal something. Because you think I'm a thief anyway. A pedophile is a pedophile forever and ever because they were they, they, they are that way. A thief is a thief. They are they always will be a thief. A real racist is a racist and they're a racist. But you can't label everybody a thief, you can't nail everybody a pedophile, you can't nail everybody a black person. You can't this is ridiculous. Okay? So all white people are not racist. And if you continue to on this road, youths and professors, you're going to destroy the United States. Because let me tell you right now, the political situation is far better in a third world country where I live than it is in the United States. The United States should be ashamed of itself right now. These problems don't exist here. Okay. I welcome any comments from anybody. God bless you. Love you all. Have a great day. This is a very serious report and story that I've just got to tell. It's something personal that happened to me, and I, I want everybody to know. I was alone in my house. Quietly. I had gotten into bed. I never did like being alone. It was, it was, it's always kind of scary. Ever since I was a kid, I was afraid of being alone in my house. And I got into bed and I, I heard this, I heard this noise. I heard this noise. And I didn't know what it was. This, this strange noise. My, my first reaction was to pull a sheet up over my head and try to hide, but I'm not that stupid. I knew that whatever it was would know I'm under the sheet, so I, I decided I, I had to go see what it was. So I softly turned to the side of the bed, put my feet to the floor. I didn't put my slippers on because I wanted to walk quietly. I, did, I didn't want it to hear. I didn't want it to hear. Oh, oh. I didn't want it to hear I was coming. So I walked quietly toward the bathroom. And bang! Oh! I kicked the beer can. Oh! oh. It was just a beer can. I didn't know what it was at first. Of course, it made more noise because it was an empty beer can. If it had been full, it wouldn't have made any noise. But in my house, when I'm alone, there aren't any full beer cans. They're all empty. But it's obvious that whatever it was in the bathroom didn't hear me. So I continued. Slowly, and I looked. And I looked around the bathroom door. <gasps> and there it was. There it was on the bathroom wall. A wall wall next to her. It was it was doing its thing, drilling millions of little holes, billions of little holes in my bathroom wall. I didn't think much of it at the time. It's just a wall wall next to her. I I'd never heard of him, but I, I knew what it was. It was just it was something from my childhood experience, so I, I snuck back to bed. I thought, it'll just leave in the morning. I went to bed. Of course, I had trouble sleeping because a heavy rain came down on the tin roof. The morning I got up, my bathroom was flooded, flooded with water. I had to mop up all oh, water. That insidious, that, that terrible wall of the next stinger had done its thing. It had drilled in billions of holes in my bathroom wall. I, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I, I can't sleep alone here again like this. I, I've just got to go. Got to go. No, absolutely not. No, 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 Linda Rand. I will not say Merry Christmas, but 
I'll wish you a Merry Christmas. I'll wish you a Merry Christmas. I'll wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Well, hello from the Dominican Republic. I suspect I don't look exactly like I did oh, roughly 50 years ago. It's been almost that long. And it's been on and off. I've looked for you guys but didn't know your last name, so couldn't contact you. Anyway, it's really nice to find you. And I'd love to hear from you. Uh, I've sent you a friend request. And I hope that uh, I can find out how life's been for you and how life's been for me. And have a, 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 a dream that maybe, maybe someday, if not here in, in heaven, we can play Monopoly again. <laughs> again. Uh, hope to hear from you. Bye-bye. You know, I'm 73 years old. You'd think at 73 years old I would understand women. Well... I guess, gentlemen, we will never understand women. My wife came in to me. I'm about headed out to Price Mart in Santiago to buy some stuff. And she said, you need to comb your brush your hair. Huh. I said, what's wrong with my hair? I brushed it. Look at it. I think it's a good new new model. I think it's very attractive. You know, side 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 view. You know, it's 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 a young man's style, and I I'm young at heart. I'm really young at heart. So why can't I be young in my style? I can't think of anything more 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 attractive to you older ladies than a hairdo like this. What do you think? Let me know. Josie Val, la gusta? Okay. Well, the old pickup truck doesn't work that well, and it's really, really, really hard to start. Actually, John has given me some money to fix it, so I have to try to get around to doing that, if, if it's fixable. So, we use our motorcycle a lot, so here I go in the motorcycle to deliver house to house where the small kids are, these boxes. Motorcycle's cheap, runs well, and I enjoy riding it. This is the farm that the Haitian family was given to use, and it's uh, full of... Uh, tobacco right now, which as I said, if you we look over here at the uh, ranchos, you'll find the tobacco that's been harvested so far is drying in the ranchos. And here is tobacco that's drier, it's brown. And here and this will be sent, uh, sold, and to make money. So this is the house, and it's in really bad repair, as you can see. It's uh, kind of almost falling down. It was not in great shape when they moved in, but it was certainly better than what they had before. It's uh, boards and, and things. And I collect a little water with the pipe on the tin. The tin is going to be going bad soon. This is really a candidate for a, to build a new house for these folks. So we had a group to come down here. We could build a new house for five, six thousand dollars, and they would have a cement block house.
Si el enemigo viene como río, como 